Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation. Now today I'm giving you guys my weekly Q&A. Uh, so let's get right into this. I'm going to do 10 minutes from the top and 10 minutes from the bottom. So let's get right into this video. I don't even feel it. Ha 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 ha. From David. I, I'm really bad at calling out names, guys, but I try to when I can. Uh, I usually do these when I get out of work, so I'm kind of like done for the day. But I try to do my best. Anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know how to answer your question to be completely honest, but uh, you know, David, you certainly do ask a lot of questions on here, and it's very well appreciated. Uh, but I don't know where to begin to even answer this. Uh, hmm. <sighs> Did Beerus tell the super? What the hell am I saying? Did Beerus tell the Supreme Kai not to kill Frieza because Frieza was his weak compared to the Supreme Kai's? Uh, I don't think I don't think he did at all. Uh, I mean the Supreme. I don't think that they said that anything like that to, to, to the Supreme Kai's. I can't even talk today, guys. Obviously. What kind of music do you like? Hmm. Well. I like a lot of 80s stuff. I'm actually just checking this streaming thing to make sure it's running. Because uh, I had forgotten whether or not I clicked it. That could have been bad if I went through the whole Q&A without having recorded any of it. But uh, what kind of music do I like? I like a lot of 80s music like Judas Priest, uh, you know, Van Halen. Uh, I do like a little bit of Metallica. Uh, a lot of the 80s stuff. A lot of 80s pop. Uh, you know, Gary Newman. A lot of that stuff. And I do listen to some of the stuff from my current time and... You know, a lot of it's good, but I, I really do prefer a lot of the 80s music. <clears throat> oh, this next question is great. Um, DBN, why do you hate Goku T23? I watched a few of his videos, and they aren't that bad. Well, this is coming up from all... I mean, I'm sure many of you that saw my video the other day probably are watching this one. And I had stated that I think Goku T23 is garbage. And a lot of people want me to do a rant video on him, or want to know why I think so, and... I was gonna originally do a rant video, but I've had some people say that I really shouldn't, and I guess they're kind of right. It's kind of childish in a way, so I don't think I'm gonna do that. It's not like me back an hour or anything like that, because I'll I'll tell you exactly why I don't like them right here, guys. For you, uh, I'm not gonna make a separate video, but for those special, you know, individuals who want to watch this and listen to what I say, fine. I'll tell you exactly why I don't like Goku T23. Um, it's not that he's bad at making content, or his videos are terrible I, I know i said he was trash and he is but <laughs> the reason i think he's so bad is because first of all i'm only referring to his dragon ball z topics i don't care about his anime stuff you guys can like that and if you're a fan of him i'm not gonna hold anything against you you can be a fan of him you can think he's the greatest youtuber ever uh that's fine i don't think he's very good but i don't think i'm that good myself and there's people that say i'm their favorite youtubers believe it or not uh, I'm sure there's people out there that think I'm trash, but that's alright, you know. Criticism is everywhere, you gotta have thick skin on the internet, if you can't handle it, then, I mean, what are you doing here? But, basically, number one, uh, all of his footage that he uses for his videos, uh, he basically gets off of other people's YouTube channels, like, you know, like, uh, I guess maybe the DBZ something, I can't remember his name, DBZ something HD, he had a lot of videos, I think, uh, a lot of those videos, um, anime something, you can see the watermarks down, you know, when you have, like, the, uh, logo of the channel, you can see those in his video clips, uh, you know, there's, it, you can easily get the series downloaded from sites, and he just takes them off people's channels, and I don't know why, it bothers the hell out of me, but, you know, if that's the way he's gonna do it, whatever, I don't like it, you guys can if you want, but I don't like it at all, uh, number two, I think the way that he goes about analyzing his topics are terrible. A lot of them don't even make sense. Uh, and he's done some topics I don't really think are very... Um, there are a couple, like, uh, what... One of them that wasn't that bad was, uh... What ha would happen if Goku d didn't destroy the Red Ribbon Army, which is a good topic, kind of. But at the same time, it's very simple to answer. Uh, there was also one, uh, like, what if Goku didn't meet Bulma, which would, you know, fuck up the entire series. Uh, what if Goku married Bulma, which is something everyone wants to know, but Goku's never really had feelings for Bulma. And even if they did get married, there's so many assumptions to be made with that topic that you shouldn't even make a video about it. It's stupid to make a video about that. Because, first of all, you know, they had no, 
uh, well, Bulma had a couple of uh, things for Goku when he was older. He, she had mentioned something, and when he was younger, I believe she said something as well. Uh, but you have to think of all the genetic things that would uh, be completely up to, for chance and random. You don't know what the kids would be. You don't know anything like that. It's all assumption based, and it's 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 like fan fiction almost. And there's no reason to make that into a video topic. Uh, and he also did a video on uh, how did Pycon die? Who the fuck knows how Pycon died? That's all assumption based as well. Um, he gave three scenarios. If you guys have seen it. His three scenarios were really were his fan fiction. He basically described the events that happened, but it's all completely made up from his own head. And uh, those videos that he has done that are, you know, uh, based on analyzing the series aren't analyzed very well. Granted, a, lo a couple of my older videos, I don't think I did a very good job on, and I want to do them again. But I think the last one I did, uh, What If Gohan Was Killed at the Cell Games, was a very good one. Uh, I got a couple coming up. I think I've gotten a lot better at analyzing stuff, especially after talking to Kwame. I've, I've you know... Uh, and doing this YouTube thing for a while, I've gotten a lot better knowledge of the series, and I'm still in an infant stage. He's been doing YouTube for ten or two years, and while well, I'm spending a lot of time asking questions, but you know what, guys, I'll make this Q and A a little bit longer. Uh, but other than that, guys, I just don't think his topics are very original. I haven't seen any really creative topics from his own head. Uh, most of the stuff will just pull off the internet. I've done some that you know you can find on the internet, but I've also done some that I haven't seen anywhere. Like I haven't seen one on what if Gohan was killed at Cell Games, and I don't think I saw one on what if Goku was sent to Namek instead of Earth. But I don't know if that was really that good of a video in itself. It was kind of sloppy. Uh, see, I'm I'm critiquing myself as well, but uh, the main thing is. Oh, also he did a video on what if Kami was never sent to Earth. That's such a stupid video. But you guys, you're getting my rant right here. Uh, kind of out of place, but yeah, those are the reasons I think he's terrible. Oh, also, I don't think I mentioned this. Uh, he did a video a long time ago, and it was called "Who Is the Real Turles?" I believe, and that's a direct ripoff of Quaman's "Who Is the Real" series, and he got bashed for it, so he changed the title to uh, "What it, Is Turles Goku?" or "What If Turles Was Goku?" or something like that. And he also did a uh, video on is Goku or is Chi Chi a bad mother? Uh, a couple weeks, I believe, after Kwame did a video on is Frieza the right choice for Fukatsu F, he did a video with the pretty much the exact same title. So I just think the dude's trash. Um, those are my reasons. If you guys disagree, that's fine. Uh, you guys, a lot of you guys are getting really upset in the comments on my video, and I don't understand why because it's basically the same as saying that I think this. If I say a game's terrible, like Dragon Ball Z Sagas, you guys aren't going to get completely upset about that. And if you think about it, I might be insulting this guy's channel as a singular person, but if I'm insulting a game, I'm, in, I'm insulting a company and a group of people in the dozens, in a way. And I went, hard, we went hard on that game, me and Kwame. Um, it's a little bit different, obviously, because it's it is a bunch of people instead of an individual, but it's kind of the same thing, if that makes sense. I don't think he's gonna care if I say he's crap. Uh, I wouldn't care if someone said I'm crap, as long as they have decent reasons, and I gave you guys legitimate reasons to why I think he's terrible. I certainly, I imagine, I just spent a ton of time on that question. Wow, I spent like probably six minutes on that question, guys. Uh, it's gonna be like a 30-minute Q&A or something. But yeah, I think he's terrible. He's not original at all. And uh, yeah, next question. If you guys, and if you guys have a problem with my opinion, uh, you don't have to watch my videos. I'm just saying that right now, if because uh, I'm not gonna put on some fake skin for YouTube. Who you see on YouTube is me. Uh, if you guys don't like that, you don't have to watch my stuff. I'm not gonna put on some, like I said, some fake skin on YouTube because I'm not gonna enjoy what I'm doing. I want to be myself. And if you guys don't like that, then you don't have to be here, really. Uh, I mean, I might sound harsh, but that's the truth. All right, let's get out of that to the next question. <laughs> All right. God damn it, Nappa. If I could say in the Vegeta voice, I would, but uh, thanks, David, for the question. <laughs> Turles versus Vegeta, beginning of the Frieza saga. Uh, Vegeta, easy. Uh, I don't... I, well, well, not easy, but I think Vegeta would be because he had a power level of roughly 24,000 and uh, I don't remember what Turles's was but I would think Vegeta at that point would beat him but uh, maybe I'm wrong Kwaman is the best YouTuber on earth well he's certainly my favorite or at least very very high up in the list his quality is very high con uh, very high quality content on his channel Yamcha versus Kwaman Kwaman Black Fist, Dino and Thundershot are the best you know, Yamcha is the supreme ruler, so I gotta give it to Yamcha, unfortunately, for those guys. I mean, they'd be completely toast in that situation, because Yamcha is the, the, you know, the master of the universe, really. 
Why didn't Nappa come back to life? He was killed by Vegeta, and Vegeta was working for Frieza at the time he killed Nappa, and so why? I think it's really just a writing mistake, honestly. I think that's what it's been chalked up to. Well, that's a good question. Hey, Dragon Ball Nation, what happens if you cut off a Super Saiyan 4's tail? Uh, well, I assume they would de-transform back to their base form and wouldn't be able to go into Super Saiyan 4 again. That's my best guess. Um... What would you... Oh, yeah, I checked this out beforehand, because if there's links, I look at them beforehand, just so I don't have to not answer someone's question. Uh, what would you say to this, and what do you th think Rhyme Style's response would be? These are basically videos showing that, uh... What's his name? Some guy from Screw Attack. It, it's the guy that plays uh, Boonstick, I believe, in the Death Battles. Uh, he's basically saying how he was a big Goku fan and he hates Superman, so it kind of like you know contradicts people's uh, people saying that they're uh, uh, hate anime or something like that. But I don't know. It just that's basically what that was. I don't know what they would say. My response is sure. If he likes anime, that's fine. But uh, they don't. Those two don't make the Death Battle. Uh, it's actually done by some girl, I think, the, the, anal the analysis, I believe. But it's not done by them. They just, they just uh, you know, voice over it. It's done by a different bunch of people that uh, critique it, I guess. Favorite what-if stories in characters in video games? Uh, hmm, what-if stories. That's very, very... I cannot answer the first one because there's so many. Although, I really do enjoy the part in Budokai one where it's Cell Absorbs Krillin. That one's very good. And uh, what if characters? I'm a big fan of the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. He does look very cool. Uh, I'm trying to think of other what if characters. But off the top of my head, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta was definitely a good one. <laughs> Which one of Bulma's hairstyles do you like the most? I don't know, man. I don't know. Um... How, hmm, how about the one, the one she had before she went on Namek, I guess, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, when Goku was in the hospital, yeah, sure, why not, I'll pick that one, sorry if you find a, that a little bit dialogue sick, but I want to know what you thought of it, as it might be useful, used in the game that I'm working on, sorry about the typos. I'm guessing he's continuing the question below this. A woman dressed in a pink PVC dress. And, oh my god. And a strap-on drill enters the room. Woman, come here, sweetie. Man, please, no. The woman bends him over and has a second woman hold him down while she puts the PVC thong. Woman, this that's it. Shh. Now it will be beautiful. Drill sounds. <laughs> man, where, where the fuck did you come up with this, man? Come on. Uh, that was great. I uh, hope you all enjoyed story time on Dragon Ball Nation. It's a very popular segment on my channel. Uh, every Tuesday, uh, not really, but story time in Dragon Ball Nation, always fun. Do you think we will ever see a LEGO Dragon Ball Z game? No, because we don't even have Leg LEGO Dragon Ball Zs. Not official ones, at least. Okay. Three out of three. I'm guessing he's numbering his what ifs. What if Cell had absorbed Super 13? Sorry for the Cell questions, as I know you like Cell. Uh, yeah, Cell is my favorite uh, villain. And my second or third favorite character. I flip flop between him and Vegeta. Uh, yeah, Amy. This is an uh, interesting question, but I don't think it would work the same way. I don't know if that's what you're asking, if it would work the same way as uh, 17 and 18. I don't think it would work the same way, but he should get power. Uh, from him, but I mean we obviously all know 13's not canon, but Well, he's yeah, I guess he's not canon the way we see him But there should be an Android 13 somewhere in the Dragon Ball Z universe. Just not the one we saw If that makes sense uh, But yeah, he would definitely get a power-up I would assume but not uh, you know any sort of uh, Transformation necessarily because 17 and 18 were kind of built for him to be a, uh, to absorb them Okay, I'm gonna I'm going to end it off with the next three questions. I'm going to go to the bottom. I am checking my time again because, you know, guys, I am making this a uh, decently length Q&A because of that Goku T2-3 question. Okay. How would the story have changed if the baby cell in Jiro's hidden lab was never found and destroyed by Trunks? This is a two-part. My first... Okay, I'll read the second one. Or the first one then. 
How would the story have changed if Cell was reincarnated into a good guy? He probably would have been the strongest Z fighter around, but I mean, there's no reason why he'd be reincarnating to a good guy. And this one's asking, what if uh, his la he was never destroyed in the present timeline? Um, he wouldn't really be a threat by the time he, you know, because by the time Cell would have gotten out, it would have been kind of close to GT, I think. Actually, it would have been around the uh, Bell God slash Fikatsu no F timeline, so I don't think Cell would have been an issue whatsoever. Uh, maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but I'm pretty sure he came out in like, I don't want to give the specific age in the timeline, because I'm not going to remember. It might have been like age 784. Maybe, uh, I mean, I might be a little bit off there. But I think that's when Cell came out, I believe. But, you know, I'm probably wrong. Okay, if Bulma want... <sighs> if Bulma want a three-way with another woman, do you think Vegeta would be okay with that? Sure, why not? I don't see why he wouldn't. And now I'm going to go right to the bottom and do ten minutes. I know this q and a is being a little bit longer, but I'm sure you guys don't mind that. Kaioken times a thousand Pikachu versus SSJ1 Goku. Man, I'm going to give this to, well, I'm going to give this to Goku because what's Pikachu's power level? <laughs> and he's, is he even going to be able to maintain that Kaioken? I don't think so. But if he, would, if he was able to, I don't think his power level would be high enough to get up to Super Saiyan 1 Goku. And you got to specify what Goku. Uh, even the one on Namek, I think, would be able to eliminate Pikachu. I mean, he's a mouse. <laughs> At the end of Z, Oob hurt Goku arm and with a kick. And I seen your vid on New DBZ series, and if they continued with Battle Gods actually happening, how did Goku get tr hurt by an untrained Kid Buu kick, basically? Two things. Oob at that point, well, yeah, he was an untrained Kid Buu, but he was a lot weaker than Kid Buu. And Goku was severely, uh, I mean, obviously we know Battle Gods uh, hadn't been made and hadn't been thought of by the time the series had ended at the end of Z. So that Goku, you could say, was very, very, very heavily suppressed. And uh, yeah, although, I mean, the whole Battle Gods thing does make it a little bit weird why, you know, he would be worried about someone as the strength of Oob when he could train people like Goten and, you know, I, I, I guess even Trunks, but, or even Pan, really. So, I mean, it doesn't make sense, really, but he, he, you know, the best we could say is he was very, very heavily suppressed. Why didn't Goku get great Zenkai boosts in Dragon Ball? In Dragon Ball Z, they got way stronger after severe wounds, but Goku got hurt just as badly in his fight with King Piccolo in Dragon Ball. Well, obviously, I'm sure we, me and the person asking this probably knows. But Zenkai boosts weren't thought of until the Saiyan Saga. But it kind of is implied, I believe, that Goku did get Zenkai boosts in Dragon Ball, even though they weren't invented. I think Krillin had said that Goku got would come back stronger when he got injured. Uh, or it seemed like he always got... Whenever he came back from near death or whenever he came back from a big fight, he got stronger. So it's kind of implied, but they weren't really thought of back then. Do you prefer calling Gohan Ultimate or Mystic? I flip-flop, but 60% of the time I, I call him Mystic. But I do flip-flop. It's kind of like Mr. Satan and Hercule. I used to always say Hercule, now I kind of say Mr. Satan most of the time, but I can, I can flip-flop. Is Goku your favorite character? If Goku is your favorite character, why is Gogeta your mascot? Well, I think Gogeta fits the channel art. I don't. I, I think that's one reason. Second reason is when I had my intros, he was the main guy for the intros, and he fits so well with the channel. I think it's a really good mascot for the channel. Uh, if you guys think another mascot would be good, let me know. I mean, I'm not going to change him probably, but <laughs> I would like to see what you guys would think would be a good mascot for the channel. But I think it. he fits the channel. It's a badass picture that I have, and... Yeah. Why can't women go Super Saiyan? They can, they just don't because they're not shown to. Actually, I, I might not remember to link this, but I'll try to remember. Kwame did a video on why can't Pan and Bola do, uh, turn Super Saiyan. You may have already saw it and you just decided to ask me to, so I can hopefully answer. But there is no answer. They should be able to turn Super Saiyan and uh, there really isn't a way to answer. It's just writing, really. But if you haven't seen this video, go check it out in the link in the description. Great stuff. Which DB slash Z GT character do you hate the most and annoys you the most? I don't know, Chiaotzu. I hate Chiaotzu. I don't like Poir either. 
What if Vegeta didn't kill Nappa? I get this one requested so many times. Uh, Nappa doesn't have any potential, really. Uh, and he's way too weak to really help at all in the series, I think. And he's kind of old. It's implied he's kind of old as well, so... I don't think it would be that big of a difference, and I don't think it's a, a much of a video topic. You can go ask Goku T23 to do it. He'll probably do it. I gotta stop talking about that guy. You guys are... A lot of you guys hate it, and that's fine, whatever, but... That's just my opinion. He'll do it for you. Go ask him any of your topics. <laughs> <sighs> this is a tough one. Fuck, Mary, kill, Videl, Chi Chi, Boma. I've been asked this by my friend before, and... Wow. That's tough, because... Hmm. Okay. Fuck Bulma. Mary Vidal kill Chi Chi. There you go. You happy now? Are you happy? You put me through that. About which power level do you have to serve? To be. Su uh, oh, wow, I can't read. To be to survive. Okay, what power. At which power level do you have to be to survive? An explosion of a nuke um I'd say that if you're around rats you should be able to survive one I would think but that would be a safe bet for me but you got to think about the radiation too it's very hard to calculate that stuff but it, from the exact explosion I'd say rats would uh you know be able to survive something like that but it could be lower what if the events in DB and DBZ never took place until Jiro created Cell? What? I don't... Wouldn't the series be fucked? <laughs> um, hmm. I don't exactly know the question, I'm sorry, but if you can maybe re-ask it in a different way, I can try to answer it then. Can I make a video with you? DB Dragon Ball Z Gods? I I guess. I mean, it depends what you want. If you private message me on, you know, YouTube or whatever, I'll try to get back to you. But I don't see why not. I don't have a problem doing, talking to subscribers. And, you know, I play with a lot of them. I play with Xbox. So, sure, I guess. I don't see why not. Do you think power levels are BS? I've been told by many people, DC fanboys, cough, cough, that they are, but do you think power levels and power scaling are the only true way of finding Dragon Ball Z characters, DB char Dragon Ball characters' true potential? I think that people saying power levels are BS is true to an extent, but if we, it, it's very hard to s it depends what you mean by them being BS. Are the ones that aren't in the series that are made up, are those ones BS? Yes, in a way. Power scaling is the best way to judge powers, in my opinion. Um, you know, look at look at feats from different characters. Compare feats. Uh, don't even bring DC Comics into this, because I'm going to do a whole video about comic... I, I plan on doing a video in the future. Maybe I'll fill on if he wants to, you know, do a discussion, because he's a big comic book guy. Uh basically discussing whether or not it's really fair to put anime characters you know, such as Dragon Ball Z against comic book characters I want to do that video in the future because they're very very different types of medium in a way okay do you think it would have made GT better if Gohan had become the main baby host and Piccolo becoming a super Namekian god at the end of the saga with that battle piccolo having to kill baby wood out killing gohan i don't know what a super namekian god is so i don't think so there's no reason that piccolo would have became one of those considering everyone was so much you know goku was so much stronger than him there's really no reason why he would have transformed uh so i don't know and i think vegeta was probably the best host for baby to be completely honest I don't know what a Super Namekian God is, still though. If someone can tell me what that is, please do. Do you think all the villains in Dragon Ball Z were fighting each other in hell? Um, it's very hard to say. I think. Hmm. I. I think they. Uh, some of them may have become friends. If anything, I mean, it's very hard to say. Very hard to say. 
but it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> okay. I'll finish off the next two questions. If GT isn't canon, why is it still in the game like SS4 Goku and SS4 Gogeta being in Xenoverse? If they're just there until Toriyama makes something over GT, like a new series, I'm guessing he means series, or is it just there out of popularity and maybe plot twist Super Saiyan 4 return as a transformation in the canon? Your thoughts? I don't think Super Saiyan 4 is ever going to come back in the canon or in like you know the series at all it is my favorite transformation and the reason GT's in the games is because they are popular people do want them as much as people hate GT I don't think Toriyama cares that GT's in these games at all uh, GT still makes him money so I don't see why he would want to discontinue it or anything like that and it's not even his choice either I mean Toei's pretty much the main guys behind that so Toriyama's not gonna be able to shut that down so GT's a part of the Dragon Ball Z history whether you like it or not but it's a part of the series canon or non-canon just like the movie villains you know the movie villains aren't canon they're still in there okay last question of the day this Q&A has been going on for a very long time well not not very long time but longer than usual in season one of DBZ when Baba is asked about the earth's future and she replies the earth has no future do you think she saw visions of Kid Buu blown up in season eight no, I don't think so. Uh, one, because I mean, I don't think she, I don't think she meant that. And two, I mean, they didn't know about Kid Buu at that point. Well, I mean, you know, Toriyama didn't even think about writing that, so I don't think so. But guys, that's been the Q and A for today. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and hopefully, not too many people hate me for what I said about Goku T23. If you did, uh, I mean, you don't have to be subscribed. That's fine. Or, or I mean, you don't have to unsubscribe if you don't like my opinion. But if you don't. If you think I'm garbage now, feel free to say so in the comments. I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure plenty of people will have some stuff to say to you. But, yeah. Alright, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.